was born in China, so I learned art from very young, like five, six years old. Uh, the reason is because my dad, he was a painter from very young. He tried to let me learn art. From China, you learn many things. It's very strict. It's a good training for treat you a skill, but I didn't know what I exactly want to do. But that time, let me rethinking. So what is more interesting is more what is more possibility for me. So in, in China, I learned it's more like a traditional way. But after I went to Japan, so everything start change. Then I learned more like a mixed media. From there, I learned a lot like a pigment stuff. So I found, oh, that is different. This makes it very interesting for me. Like this one, I all use white color, but that one I use black color. Kind of like a balance in the same time, like yin and the yang, but it's a more, um, somehow the, the, you know, the theme is the same, but it feels it's more like the, the language you want to more minimal. So that's it can in the same room I try to make the balance. Yeah. Then like that one is more it's a little bit early work, but you can see that it's a little bit softer and now strong, but they subtle. So every piece is a different kind of moment what I feel. When I went to Japan, I went to Tokyo Art University. So that's master course. The professor is really is a very open mind. Uh, he told me if you come to the place, then you never need to follow anybody. So you just try to do what you like. So for myself, that time I just want to change. Uh, I don't exactly know what direction I should go, but an open space for me is very important. So I start to search. I start to see a lot of different things. Then I try to find a new way to present my new is emotional. And this one is a, it's a, basically it's a flat, but I try to use a little mantra, it's like a crack. So when things crack, I feel it's more like a tension. It's every detail, you know, it's a, the technique when you use it and you do it, then you feel something new ideas growing. But again, this still is the same, like a series with every piece together. I stay in the Tokyo for 13 years. They always have something to learn and uh, something interesting. But at the same time, in, inside me, a little bit in the culture, um, I feel a little bit uncomfortable for everything, especially for you know, it's woman's situation. Japanese culture influenced the woman. They have to be very quiet. Then you have to be, you know, it's be someone. You, it's everyone can be accepted. It's maybe it's not you yourself. So that part inside me, I always I feel it's uh, not very comfortable. So that's make me feel decide I might need to go to move on to look for some different place. It's better for me. I will start to thinking about identity and looking around all you know my friends and the Japanese ladies, what they daily they deal with. So that I start thinking about what is a woman, you know, is a do in a different society. Then your art is a very natural way I focus about it's woman. Like this these two and the here have one more. So that is the same time I did maybe like two months ago, but I do feel it's something I want to, it's more like, it's a, like violent, it's like angry. So that's the pieces work, I feel, the emotions feel a little bit, you know, it's a stronger. Like you can see my work is basically like black and white. So the reason because I do like color, it doesn't mean the color is not good, but for me, uh, when you really want to talk something, like a more deeper, like a inner, the work is not like a surface looks like. So sometimes I feel too many elements, like too many color, too many texture. So that might bother you. So you need something directly and minimal. Also, I care about the shadow. So when you use white and black, they have a different kind of shadow. Then they make the dimension, they show different ways. Some is very strong, some is subtle. Or well, sometimes you 
try to make the things is combined together. Like this one, you can see it's now 100% white or black, but more like it's a brush painting, so in the, like ink, but I use charcoal pigment. So they have a, a little bit grounding change. Then again, the subject is the same, but um, I feel it's a little bit dominant. It's a kind of like it's a warm inside feeling. You feel the power and uh, but put on the canvas. I think it's a big change for my art to start from 2000, uh, 2010. Every day I'm thinking about uh, is my identity. I don't feel the canvas is perfect for me. I start use a scissor or knife with the cut. Then I try to make it more possibility. I use the material is more like softer stuff, like fabric. Sometimes I use wear like it's a underwear, so like close to your skin. So that things I feel is more like uh, familiar and flexible and warm. When you do art, you feel the canvas talk to with you. It's not like you make decision. I have to make some piece looks like you don't need to have some goal. I have to go to some show or show some people. You just talk to yourself. Then I feel the, the art is more interesting. It's more like alive. So why thinking is just do piece for myself first. But after the art is finished, then maybe I can thinking about this is for different kind of show. Or well, of course in the gallery they always can contact with you. Then they they ask you what do they need to. But you don't want to follow it because some show is then push your art go in the, the way is you don't want. So you want to just be honest for yourself first. Thank you.